Well, here at History Park in San Jose, a Lunar New Year celebration is underway. It's the start of many celebrations, public and private, big and small. The Lunar New Year is actually celebrated in slightly different ways in various Asian American communities. Here at San Jose's History Park, the Vietnamese American community is celebrating Tet and the Year of the Cat because of their different zodiac signs. Also at the park is the Chinese American Historical Museum. Trustee Jerry Wong explains it's made up of artifacts and recreations from the Chinatowns of San Jose in the 1800s. In this museum, we have the largest existing altar that was used in the 1800s in the nation. But people can visit it just to celebrate Chinese New Year's if they want to come. <laughs> but celebrations are also often quiet and personal. At the famous Chep Chu's restaurant in Los Altos, Jerry met with friends to exchange New Year gifts, red envelopes containing money, and the new anime Wong commemorative coin. It reminded Madeline of childhood celebrations. I would want to stay home from school in order to receive red envelopes when visitors, relatives came to visit. And, that, and I would feel them to see if it was 25 cents or, or whatever. Thank you. Chef Chu himself came out to join the small celebration. Lawrence Chu is an icon in the community, plus his son John was the director of the hit film Crazy Rich Asians. The chef points out favorite foods change each year and each with its own story of creation, tradition, and celebration. And there's lots of time to celebrate, not just one day. Actually, usually celebrate and at the first spring moon to the, the full moon at uh, 15 days. And thanks to a bill pushed by South Bay Assemblyman Evan Lowe, the Lunar New Year is now a state holiday. So state employees now get an extra day off to, what else? Celebrate. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.